Democrat Party, particularly Prime Minister of his Chi Wa, believe that in the long term goal of education of Thailand is we need to we need to increase competitiveness of Thailand. Uh, that's the first point. And second point, we need to uh, minimize or reconciliate conflict and gap uh, within our country. Let me elaborate on that. On the competitiveness, uh, Thailand is a member of the global community. We cannot isolate our country. We have to work, we have to trade, we have to invest with the rest of the world. Therefore, Thailand must maintain its competitiveness in order to uh, progress and advance our economy, our society, particularly our human resources. Uh, therefore, we need to emphasize on the competitiveness, particularly uh, human, human resource, in order to improve the competency and performance of our, of our country. Regarding to the reconciliation or social justice uh, of our country, uh, at the other end of our society, we have uh, so-called social injustice, uh, political uh, conflict. That's due to a long time development of our country. For example, the gap between the rich and the poor, the gap between urban and rural areas. And this also caused major problems of our today politics and economics. Therefore, we need to bring back reconciliation and social harmony and social justice into our society in order to ensure the long-term development of our country. Uh, in doing that, we have to give more opportunity to the rural people, to the poor, in order to uh, upgrade their quality and capacity and bridge that gap by giving them more opportunity and some kind of support. For example, minimum wage. We need to increase the minimum wage, which will not jeopardize the capacity of the private sector and competitive, competitiveness of Thailand. Uh, but at the same time, we need to raise more income for the poor, for the lower uh, working level uh, groups of Thai people. Uh, that's what we would like to, to see uh, in the long term. How, how, how the increase of the competitiveness, uh, what we can do first is we have to improve the quality of education. Uh, our education must prepare our students or graduates to be able to think and solve problems creatively. We need to prepare our graduates and students to be able to, uh, to speak, to write, to communicate convincingly. We need to uh, train our students to be able to use uh, to use numbers application to use ICT technology and to have the scientific uh, thinking uh, and also we need to train our P uh, our students to be able to uh, solve problems to uh, communicate and work with other people. Uh, these are so-called key competencies that Thailand need to uh, work in its educational process. And with that result and competency, we believe that Thailand uh, will be competitive and particularly will be the leader of ASEAN community in the near future. And on the other side, regarding to the social injustice, we need to make our system more flexible uh, because the so-called the mainstream system of Thailand of education, we uh, accommodate the majority of our students. But we have at least five to eight million people who are underprivileged, who are in the peripheral area. And this group of people, our normal system uh, cannot detect them, or in other words, they are under radar of our system. 
in doing so, we need to go directly to the local authorities. For example, like Obato, and also uh, uh, NGOs, and also private sectors, and also uh, social enterprises. Uh, we need to work with them in order to to help them uh, to uh, to be upgraded. Uh, of their quality and also opportunity. And uh, by doing so, the system has to unlock uh, rules and regulation. For example, unit cost of budget. We have to uh, allow uh, the system to allocate more budget to the so-called underprivileged group. We need to uh, motivate uh, teachers to spend more time with uh, students, uh, which uh, may be demanded more than the normal system. And by doing so, we need to give more incentive to teachers. We have to inspire our teachers to work for these people. Uh, when the so-called underprivileged group or the poor uh, getting stronger and become more educated, they can get a better job, they can get a better pay, they can have a better life, and therefore, consequently, they will be able to live with the mainstream of our society. And I think that will end the root cause of our social injustice and conflict uh, in our country. Today, we would like to talk about the educational policy of this party. First of all, we would like to focus about the philosophy of education. When we're talking about the philosophy of education, a lot of people thought that just learning. Improve yourself, go to work, have a good life, that's it, and that's all. But for our party, we're talking about how to survive in the changing world like this. We con we're facing with the global warming. We're facing with climate change, food lag, food lag, and a lot of uh, communicated disease. How do we survive? Do we prepare for ourselves yet? Or do we pre prepare for our kids yet? No. I'm sure that if something happened like an earthquake in Bangkok, do you know how to survive? No. I thought that we didn't educate our people to know how to survive. So this is the big thing that we concern. And another thing that we concern is about how do you live in the global world like this? How do you make plane with mainland China, the new era? And how do you deal with and grow far like a UK, like a USA, or USSR? How do you deal with them without any conflict? To live with a harmonize, this is an important thing. Even in Thailand, we didn't live with harmonized yet. What happened? Even we are Thai, we're not like Rwanda. We are in the same race, same language, same religion. But we fight at a cat and dog. What happened? Why don't we change my mind or your mind to live with a harmonized way? This is a part of the education too. Education not only in the school, not only in the university. You have to extend it in your life. We're talking about academy. We're talking about the occupation. And we're talking about last thing, about the, the way of living. That's an important thing for our philosophy of education. And another thing that uh, this party concerned is about equality, not only in the geographic area, not only in Bangkok compared to the somewhere else in the southern part of Thailand or the northern part of northeastern part of Thailand. No. That is a part of it. But we're concerned about the economic size too. 
we concern about the talent e d of that kids too. All kids have to have a chance to study. Not only kids, but we're talking all of the people have to have a chance, an equal chance to make it done. That is important thing for us. The way we implement about the equality. So we're talking about the one laptop per child or one tablet per child in the new concept. Why? Because we thought that it's very difficult to let a good teacher to go around the country to teach our student. But the easy way to teach through the network, through the internet. Facebook, Twitter, or anything else. It's up to technology on that day. That we concern. But a lot of people consider that a computer is not a good tool. But I have to tell you that in the world like this, it's changing. Even the first start with a computer, if you didn't start with it, in the next two or three years, you change again, a new one, new one. But if you didn't have a first step. You could not get another step too. So the first of all, you have to learn how to read. You have, you have to know how to literacy, to communicate, to listen. You have to learn about something about the logical thinking, in mathematics or anything else. But for the technology, we cannot get rid of or reject it or deny it. They are so close to us. So we have to let all of our students have a chance. To touch with it, to feel it, not only to see it, and don't know what happened. That's the point. But we didn't uh, con- convey that. We try to put all the things to all the children. Not yet. It depends on uh, which part that we call it like a prepare themselves enough. To get it, like a r e t a l a c y like a electricity and network, like a Wi-Fi or 3G or anything else. If we, you have anything else without electricity, oh, what do we do? Just a stone, just a metal, right? But if you have something in your mind and you have everything complete in your hand, you can search, you can go all around the world by internet, through internet. You could search anything else by your own, but before that, you have to have something in your mind. You have to know how to read it, understand how to connect it, and how to take care of your tool. Not let something else like uh, oh, it's free, throw it away, and I can have a new one sooner or later. It's not nice. It's not fair. 